Right. Still worth investing in uh, real estate <laughs> as an investment? Absolutely. If you're a cash investor, interest rates mean nothing. Right. If you are a right. cash investor and you need some help, give me a call. Right. But if you are investing and doing a loan, people have been doing this for a very long time. When I bought my very first house, I think my interest rate was probably 8%. And I was thrilled when I refinanced it down to like seven and a quarter. Right. There were people investing in real estate that were thrilled to refinance from 8% on something they, on investments mm. they had leveraged down to seven and a quarter. Right. So seven and a quarter, six and a quarter, whatever rate you might get right now, you absolutely can still make a ton of wealth. There, There's not a bad time to do this. I, I guess in the eighties when interest rates were like 18%. in the high teens, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know. I'd have to crunch some numbers. They probably made it work back then too, but certainly at, at today's interest rates, you still have the opportunity to, to make really good wealth. And <clears throat> like, like we say for people that just want to buy a house right now for their residence, not as an investment, you should be able to refinance it. I don't, you got to be very careful with this, right? Like we all, we hear a lot of stuff. Those of us that are in this industry are hearing a lot of stuff that they do feel interest rates will probably come back down, that mm. they're actually a little too high at the moment um, based on concerns with everybody's going to refinance as soon as they do drop right. to a more normal, well, I shouldn't say more normal. I mean, they're, historically they're still good rates, but right. <clears throat> we're hearing, you know, expect at some point to get back to 5%. If it gets back to 5%, then by all means, you just refinance it at 5%, and now you're making even more money. <clears throat> but I would not let the current interest rates, um, if this is something you want to do and you're considering investing in rental properties and and taking using the Burr method and uh, building that portfolio, don't let the current interest rates deter you 